Hello and welcome to the episode 272 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Among other things, today we'll focus our attention on the return to a prestigious venue, some studio work, and an interview about transcendental meditation. On the 29th of September 1960, the Beatles had yet another night at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany. The lineup was Pete Best on drums, George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney on guitar and vocals, and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. In 1961, with Paul McCartney taking the place of Stu Sutcliffe on bass, the Beatles had another lunchtime engagement at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. After that, the lads had an evening engagement at the Village Hall in Notyash, near Liverpool. This was the last Beatles performance before John Lennon and Paul McCartney left the country for a two-week holiday. John had received £100, about £2,250 in 2020 money, as a present for his 21st birthday by a Scottish aunt. He decided to spend the money on a trip to Paris with Paul. In 1962, the Beatles, with Ringo Starr finally on drums, returned to the Oasis Club in Manchester, one of the first major venues that booked them after Epstein had become their manager. To learn more about their first concert there, on the 2nd of February 1962, you can check out episode 33 of this podcast. Let's move to 1964. On the 29th of September, the Beatles returned to the EMI Studios in Abbey Road, London, for the first recording session after the end of their first North American tour. Between 2.30 and 6.30 pm, they recorded four takes of Every Little Things, without George Harrison, who arrived late, and seven takes of I Don't Want to Spoil the Party. They resumed at 7, going on until 10.45 pm, recording 12 more takes of I Don't Want to Spoil the Party and 7 takes of What You're Doing. What about you? What are you doing? Are you still wondering whether or not you can help me to do more for our little community? You don't have to if you don't feel like it. But who knows? If you check www.simonmas.com support, perhaps you'll find that you can do something after all. Thank you for being fab! On the 29th of September 1967, while the work on the editing of Magical Mystery Tour went on at Norman's Film Productions, John Lennon and George Harrison taped an interview between 6 and 7 pm at the Ready Fusion's Wembley facility, talking about transcendental meditation. Just to have an idea of the leap forward that the band had made not just in their music, but also in the collective consciousness, this was the same facility in which the Beatles had recorded their appearance in children programs like Choose the Rendezvous only a couple of years back. It seemed like another lifetime now. After the end of the interview, broadcast in the Frost program show between 10.30 and 11.15 pm today, John and possibly George reached Abbey Road for a 7.30 pm to 5 am session. The first matter at hand was mixing I Am The Warriors using two master takes. The first is audible until the sitting in an English garden line of the lyrics, the second from that point till the end of the song. The second part was further enriched with live feed from a radio, giving the impression of searching for a channel. At 10.30 pm, by chance, the radio was dialed into the BBC Radio 3 broadcast of the tragedy of King Lear, with parts of Act 4, Scene 6, audible on the record. After that, John and Paul focused on the mixing of Your Mother Should Know, finally deciding to ignore the remake and concentrate on the 22nd 23rd of August version, overdubbing organ, tambourine and bass, and mixing down in mono the results before the end of the session. Finally, in 1969, John Lennon was at the EMI Studios to produce a stereo mix of Cold Turkey between 8 and 12 pm. John left with an acetate version of the mix to listen at home. 
This concludes our efforts today. Tomorrow, we'll talk about various things, including the publication of the only authorized biography of the Beatles. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.